The first change is to do with the way in which we see things. you'll become more aware of the vitality and energy going on around you, more able to celebrate ordinary, necessary, routine things. You'll begin to take space and silence with you into your day. However routine and frustrating it may be, the space will give you a bit more room to see beyond yourself and the problems of your life. You may find that regular space and silence enable you to turn the sound level down and see things you've never seen before. You'll begin to see the strain and tension and anxiety, the hurry and pain and emptiness on many faces. You may also find that space and silence make you much more aware of the world around you. Even in cities, there's a day and night, winter and summer. Birds sing. Things that you would normally take for granted, you find yourself being grateful for. You are seeing things differently. You're beginning to recognize that the most ordinary and mundane and humdrum things in life are reflections of unfathomable mystery. But just noticing these things isn't enough. If you really want to pray, if you're searching in your prayer for the one all faiths know as God, you need to deliberately deepen your seeing. In your next time of space and silence, try replaying in your mind all the things you've seen since your last time of prayer. Ask God to open the eyes of your mind. Ask God to unlock the memories of your eyes. Your eyes have been working all day, and your brain has faithfully registered much more than you've been aware of. <laughs> 